Hello everyone, we will learn SQL Server replication architecture and the components in this session. First of all, let's learn what is replication. In short, replication is just copying and distributing database tables and objects to another database in another server. After distributing, process does not finish. Synchronization can be set in a way your source and destination data are always consistent. The flow of replication can be one way, bidirectional and n ways. I will explain how this replication mechanism works step by step. The first components in the replication are publisher and articles. Publisher is a server where the source database is maintained. Each database in the publisher may contain articles, which include tables, views, indexed views, storage procedure, user-defined functions, and other objects. While creating replication, we create publication and choose which article to replicate. Then, for this publication, we create subscription for the destination database located in the destination server, which we call subscriber. We can choose which table and which object to replicate while creating publication, and only this object is replicated in the subscriber. Articles in one database can be replicated to more than one database in one subscriber or to more than one subscriber even. After receiving data, this subscriber can republish data to other subscribers or can also pass data changes back to the publisher. If publisher pushes the data to subscription, we call this as push subscription. If data is pulled by subscription, we call this as pull subscription. SQL Server runs replication with the help of SQL Server agent jobs, which we call replication agents. There are several agents depending on type of replication. Snapshot agent, log reader agent, distribution agent, and merge agent. We will discuss about these agents in more detail when we talk about replication types in the next session. These agents run in the server, which we call distributor. Distributor is another server, which contains the distribution database. It stores status data, metadata about publications, and history data even. It acts as a queue for data movement from publisher to subscriber. And also it can support one or more publishers. Distributor can be a separate server or can be located inside the publisher server or subscriber server. Each publisher can be assigned to only a single distributor. But Multiple publishers can share one distributor. Now you have overall picture of replication architecture. Let's now discuss about how replication works by going through replication types in the next session.